Computers keep changing the world, but their power and safety is limited by their rigid design. The T2 Tile project works for bigger and safer computing using Living Systems principles. Follow our progress here on T Tuesday Updates. And away to Newcastle. Just about a time to board. Huh? No. Just about a time to board. Sounds very European, but actually we're just in Merci Minneapolis. Trying to get our flight, so there's all kinds of other international flights all around us here. So the uh, Air France flight next to us has just started boarding and they announced that they're using facial recognition to uh, board it. So you're just supposed to walk up and smile to the camera and it'll be compared to the picture on your passport where of course you weren't supposed to smile. And this whole thing is if it's supposed to be a real wonderful, modern, great thing. <laughs> Certainly hope it's not true for our flight too. And welcoming those in our Delta One cabin oh, and our diamond medallions here for Amsterdam, please. So don't, don't, don't need it. 7G. Yep. 7G I just need it is. To look at your passport. Yeah. Okay. All this paper. So how go. did this help? Uh, because, well, it just. You looked at the thing. Yeah, you put it on the thing. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah, it it got me yeah, it while got it was you. still yeah. doing her. My face has been recognized. Well, this is extremely complicated. Alright, Amsterdam layover for a few hours. Starting to run into people from the conference and having chit chats in the uh, uh, airport hallways. So it's the morning of the second day of the conference. Uh, we're in the 
middle of the city of Newcastle, uh, upon time in the UK. The city is waking up, so it might be a little bit loud. Uh, but I wanted to just check in and have something to uh, update for the T Tuesday update. So we've, uh, you know, the, the conference has already been great. The first day yesterday, there was a bunch of interesting uh, talks, and you know, it's fun just to see colleagues and uh, uh, friends uh, uh, that I don't get to see very often. And you know, in a conference like this, <coughs> you know, it started in Amsterdam. We started running into people in the halls, and hey, I know that dude, and ended up having you know nerd chats in airport lounges while we waited for the uh, planes to be ready to go. And so the first day of the conference, there were several interesting talks, and <coughs> uh, so yeah, a little bit of noise. Uh, but in addition, um, so this past week has been more about getting the locking stuff working between the tiles. And just like I knew, uh, uh, having in taken the days to produce the lock tracing event system, uh, I'm using it a tremendous amount in the past week to understand what's going on and to gain confidence. I understand what is going on, and I even got to the point where I changed the state machine that the tiles use to have locks. You know, I request the lock, I grant the lock, I have the lock, that sort of thing. And getting the state machine working to begin with almost two years ago now was absolutely terrifying. But with you know just sort of having lived with it and seen how it works and how it fails and now having the lock tracing stuff it gave me the confidence to create you know actually we should have one additional state in between here and passing and so forth to acknowledge the given that the, the tet lock has been released and so forth so where we are now last week it was just one guy it was the key master requesting locks and everybody around him saying yes you can have it yes you can have it but now from boot everybody in, in MFM T2 is automatically trying to grab random sets of locks and just keep track of statistics how what percent of the time they got the locks they wanted what percent of the time was contested by somebody else and so forth and it feels like the the war games movie from back you know whenever it was where you know the, the the Whopper plays an endless series of war games, you know, so the T2 tiles play an endless series of lock games, you know, once, twice, three, shoot, 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 to see who gets the locks and who doesn't for any given moment. And that all seems to be working. <coughs> the, uh, the guys, you know, successfully get the locks like, you know, 80% of the time or something, they're contested like 16%, something like that. So that's all coming along really well. Uh, we'll have more information about that, more information about how the conference actually went next week. Have a good week.